Hi folks, hope you're okay today, it's good to see you and um, we're just going to look at uh, uh, this book When God's Voice is Heard Essays on Preaching presented to Dick Lucas Introversity Press and we're just looking at a few quotes from The Preacher and the Sufficient Word uh, by Peter Adams okay and I I, I hope that this series of 10 videos will be um, just an inspiration to you as, as a preacher. So let's come before the Lord. Lord, we thank you for your goodness and love. And we give you the prayers and the glory and the honor. And Father, I just pray that you bless um, these videos on preaching. I pray that the pastors and preachers who hear these 10 videos would just encourage them by your Holy Spirit to keep preaching, Lord, in your name. Amen. So the essay is um, <coughs> Peter Adams, The Preacher and the Sufficient Word. He writes, The doctrine of the sufficiency of Scripture <coughs> excuse me, is clearly in the words of Henry Bullinger in his second sermon of the Word of God. Bullinger says, Now because I have said that the Word of God is revealed to the intent that it may fully instruct us in the ways of God <coughs> and our salvation, I will in a few words declare unto you, clear, dearly beloved, that in the Word of God delivered to us by the prophets and apostles is abundantly contained the whole effect of godliness and what things soever are available to be leading of our lives rightly well and holily for verily it must needs be that the doctrine is full and in all points perfect to which nothing ought either to be added or to be taken away ye have brethren an evident testimony of the fullness of the word of god you have a doctrine absolutely perfect in all points and uh, the writer says bullinger is asserting that the bible is the sufficient word of god that is that it includes everything that god wishes to say to human beings of the doctrine of the sufficiency of the Bible, it follows that Christian gospel ministry involves explaining, preaching, applying and interpreting this sufficient word so that people may be converted and congregation may be built up in faith, godliness and usefulness. That's what we need to be thinking about as preachers. This word is sufficient for godliness and life. So you shouldn't be messing around trying to entertain people in the pulpit you shouldn't be messing around uh, trying to give psychological theories and ideas or expressing your own experiences you should be expounding this word because this word is sufficient for all the spiritual needs of the church for you and for God's people okay